last night at the camp. The procession of our contestants make their way back to camp in silence. It feels eerie, with lanterns lighting their way as they approach. They get to camp, and there is a burst of excitement. What a contrast to some seconds ago. What could be the reason? When I came back after the tax, I couldn't do anything. I was just restless. I was just at the same time, I was trying to like figure out what actually went wrong, the disadvantage we had earlier on, and everything. But then, getting to the place of the talking drum and the tax master telling us that the council of elders have actually forgiven us, that we are all safe for now. I felt so happy. Our fate was supposed to be decided tonight, and we were favored by the council of elders. I'm sure it went well for everyone, but for me, it was. The whole time seated there was like moments of tension and but just moments of tension like I wasn't myself really. The place of the talking drum, everybody was nervous, thinking one of us was going to leave. We we're not sure who was going to leave and everything, but then we got the good news and then we got a second chance to be part of the jungle again and then we were all so excited and we we're really so excited. My experience at the place of the talking drum was it was what I expected. It was as I expected it to. It was fun, though. And the reason it was fun for us was because we we're not the losing team. So we we're not scared of anything. Effort as we could. Um, I'm, I'm, I can't even see maybe it's the ladies or anything because I saw them struggling to actually move forward. So as a team, we we're not supposed to leave anybody behind. Um, but then we did everything we could to move as a team and then we did. But at some point along moving the crate was where the issue was because then we, we were low on strength compared to the other teams. But then we still demonstrated uh, teamwork and, and strategize on moving the crate to the, uh, to the pause where we're going to arrange it. I think we actually tried our best because I personally pushed myself. I had to carry the last person standing, which was Ishmael, when we were crossing over. What delayed us was the crate stuff. Like, there was not enough strength. I think after everything, some people were tired and we were trying to drag it with the mud and everything. So that made us late to solving the puzzle. And then we would have solved it earlier, but we, we did double job. We solved it on the slate before putting it up. So if we had just done it straight, I think we would have finished on time. The taskmaster saved their blushes with no eviction. Let's go the hole for night. No, please don't. I remember that they that time. So one day they might ask you for this. Where's your stone of sorrow? I can't if I stone of sorrow. I felt very powerless when I had the stone of sorrow in my hand and I was asked to open it. But I'm glad I'm still here. The Council of Elders had mercy on us. I felt like a very heavy burden has been lifted off me. I'm think I think I'm I'll be fine, maybe by tomorrow, but it wasn't easy, like I almost fell, but Thank God. Well, I was doubtful that they would evict someone from a group tax. But when I saw the black pots, I was like, wow, so it's getting to this. That was when I now began to get agitated. But no, I'm glad that I'm here. Now life is back to normal. Fun, jokes and laughter fills the night. They even pair themselves as couples. Mikel, Chidima and Ishmael are on a roll. An early riser we have in Damilola. Inyabasi is up too. Damilola gets busy with sweeping. More people gradually wake up. Chidima finds what to do. It's exercise and prayer time for others. Even Estima is not left out. Looks like a training ground for the Olympics. 
Oh, our poor chickens. Everyone just gets busy with one thing or the other. Mikel seems to be at home with beans picking. His concentration is second to none. Maybe the hunger this morning is responsible for that. But our warriors must eat. Everyone pitches in to help. There is a way food opens up the mouth for singing. And food is ready. Like students in the boarding house, they all line up to be served by Rachel. The meal of yam looks sumptuous as they all dig in. Nothing like a full stomach. Sleep takes over. The funny part is Mr. Nebi is not even here. And seems like there is a love interest simmering between Rachel and Nebi. Maybe time will tell. Our contestants head out towards the task area. Their journey through the footbridge, trails and footpaths finally leads them to the ring of the ultimate warriors where the taskmaster waits. Let's go, don't keep me waiting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Match up, match up. They assemble according to their clans while Kunle, our taskmaster, engages them before the day's task begins. But he's worried about something. Good day, guys. Now, something worrying has come to my notice that you do not listen. I've said this before, and I'm not going to say it again, but I will not condone the indiscipline. You should listen, process, and then act. Because if you don't listen, how do you know where you are going and how you should go? The qualities of a craftsman or woman is the ability to lead, listen, and trust and work as a team. And that is what your next task is about. Ultimate Warriors. Yes, sir. This is the third eye. Look around you. This is your task. Now you will select three members of each clan for the first obstacle. Now the three members you selected will stand by the wheelbarrow here and the other three will be at the end where you have the puzzle crate. Now the three members you select here, your third eye is going to be seated in the wheelbarrow and the other two members will be blindfolded. This is where teamwork comes in. Now you will trust your third eye to lead you through the maze and pick three puzzle bags at three designated stops. When you pick the bags, you will push the barrel through the maze to the end and the other three members will have to assemble the puzzle. Now what you're assembling is craft beer. Do you understand? Yes, sir. In less than one minute, I want you to select your three members that are gonna be on this side and the three members that are gonna be on that side. Let's go. 20 seconds left. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Three people on this side and then many three people on that side. Let's go. Pace up, pace up, pace up, pace up. All right. Now you're going to blindfold your teammates. Make sure the blindfold is done properly because I will check. Third eye, sit in the barrel. On my command. Go. Sure. 
Your feet shouldn't touch the floor. I'm watching you. This doesn't look like an easy one. Let's go, let's go, guys. Nice one, Amar. Your feet off the ground. Nice one. Mirin seems to have taken the lead with Amo following, while Iroko still battles for a direction. To turn, you can take your legs over the maze. Stay blindfolded. Tension is high on and off the course. Shouts and counter shouts ring from all directions. It was a simple instruction, not the wheelbarrow. All the handles. This time, take your feet off. Start again. Start again. Start again. Let's go, let's go. 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 let us Now, this is tougher than they ever imagined, I guess. Wait, what? What is Iroko doing? Start again! Iroko, start again! Finally, they decided to swap places. As the team I will now act as the eye for the team. Nice one, nice one, Mark. Ola Yinka of the Amo clan looks like he's having a bad day as well. Okay, Amo, I'm looking at you, your feet must not touch the ground. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Now, even with Esetima as the new eye, they break the rules and will have to go start afresh. Okay, this is tougher than they ever imagined, I guess. Yes. Hiroko looks like they are beginning to get a knack of how it should go as Esetima picks the puzzle bag. For Inri clan, looks like Chidima is bearing all the weights of their teammates in the barrel. Get up and adjust your wheelbarrow. Okay, fine. I'm going to give them a window to adjust themselves. Get up and adjust your wheelbarrow. I must not see you. I must not see you peeking. I must not see you peeking. Very good guy. Very good guy. Very good guy. That's good. That's good. That's good. Go! Go, guys! Go. Take your leg across the bar. Take your legs. Take your leg across the bar. Here, take your leg across the bar. And find your position. Okay, okay, okay. 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 
Your feet off the ground, Amo! Get up and adjust your right with your barrel. Man on the barrel. Okay, okay, Roko, stand still. Get off the barrel. We get to the end of the first obstacle and alight for the next stage. You are going to coordinate your teammates to walk through this pole and then you run to meet your teammates. Oh, you can you support yourselves, support yourselves. The seen one will have to lead the blindfolded ones across the second obstacle to meet their other teammates waiting by the puzzle board. Here is head to your teammates. Let's go, let's go, let's go to your teammates. I don't see teamwork. I don't see teamwork. Adjust it, adjust it, adjust it, and sit properly. Adjust it and sit properly. Do not spoil, do not spoil my maze. Third eye, do not spoil my maze. Namo and Iroko clan still battling to get through the maze. While Irene tries to solve the puzzle, they climb the bar, not on the floor. Make sure you walk over the bar. Make sure you walk over the bar. Make sure you walk over the bar. Okay, okay. Take off your puzzle, step aside, step aside. You do not participate in the puzzle. Step aside. Thank you, take off your blindfold. Iroko team has it, thank you very much. Step back. Thank you very much, everybody step forward. Ultimate Warriors. Now that is what they call teamwork. Earring, congratulations. You, you came first. Iroko. Good job. Thank you, sir. Like I said, there will be consequences for the losing team. Amo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Tonight, there will be a conversation at the place of the talking drum. For now, congratulations to the winners. Please head to your camp. Our contestants are back to the camp. Not very many smiling or happy faces. Looks like something catches Nebe's attention. It's a scroll with a riddle. They try to figure out what it means. Our identity lies in what we are known as. But how would a stranger know if they do not see or hear? Show them. Estima finds another scroll. On the path that flows lies the element of purification and preservation. They who seek will discover the element that enhances the bots. They hurry off on a hunt to solve the riddle. And 
Damil Ola finds it. Salt. At last, flavor. We will have to take the guy dining with salt. Let me test for. Let me test for. What a taste! Give me a bit, man. What a taste! So the first task. How we let's let's go. How are we going about it? Our contestants begin to ponder what the message in the scroll was about. We use nail. We use nail. They all deliberate. Yeah, it's quite thick, so we just we do the pounce nail first, just do, um, lettering. How do you do lettering? It doesn't stop them from drinking Gary for lunch. Maybe there is something inspirational about Gary. Okay. Your old ideas, have you? Have you got yours, sir? They try to string lyrics and beats together for their theme song. Guys, I get an idea. Please, if you know what, go oh, jump up. You understand? So this is the idea here. Uh, it's a call and response thing. So it's more like a... And Carrie has a different idea. Everybody does anyway. See what the jungle they do now. I no, 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 you are singing flat now. You, 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 our identity lies in what we are. <laughs> but how will the stranger, if they do not see or hear, see or hear, show them? First of all, please, first of all, let's process the information. We might be doing the wrong thing without even knowing. Let's process the information. We didn't do good today. We didn't do well today. When we started, we haven't. We've not even moved an inch. When my, um, when a teammate of mine said he was tired, we've not even left the, the spot of starting. So, if we are going, if we, if we move a little bit and he says we should stop, we should stop. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. There's little I can do. I can't step down from the, from the, um, from the barrel. So I just have to keep motivating them to. Pushing. I think uh, the guys who were carrying the wheelbarrow should have been equipped in carrying whoever was on the wheelbarrow because they are both uh, big, they are both strong. The person on the wheelbarrow was not giving the directions to us. He was just trying to focus on its own tax rather than also looking and listening well too. So. Anybody between me, uh, Yinka and uh, Jennifer could have been on the wheelbarrow because the weight difference between three of us really is too too little to make that much of a difference. So I knew it was going to be a weighty tax on the wheelbarrow, and I told um, Jennifer to be on the on the wheelbarrow. But <laughs> as the team, may have it now. Everyone has their own say, and they said someone else should be on it. I have no problem because I have the strength to push. But that singular act really affected us. I want to first of all uh, apologize to my team. As a as a team leader, I shouldn't be upset with my team members whether we win or we lose. I don't know what to expect today, because the taxmaster said there will be punishment for the people who lost. It was quite a very tough experience. It was so hard that at a point I almost gave up, because it was as if my waist, my bo my waist was separated from my body, but with the encouragement from my team members, I had to push through. And I'm so happy that at the end of the day, we won the task. So as I, for now, I don't feel the pain anymore. <laughs> Yeah, it went very well. You know, yesterday when we actually lost, um, I told my teammates that no matter what happened today, we had to like double up our effort. We had to come on top and to put away the pain of yesterday loss. And today, everybody did their best, and surprisingly, we came first. So right now, we are actually very happy. And we With lanterns to show them the way, 
Our contestants walk to the place of the talking drum. Our anchor, Tokemakewa, is back from the summons of the Council of Elders. What is the message for them? Welcome to the place of the talking drum. Now I was summoned by the Council of Elders and I've been told to let you know that it's going to be a fiery test. Now each and every one of you will be tested. Each and every one of you will rise and fall till there's only one person left. Now that being said, tell me, how was your task today? It was interesting. Interesting. At first it was looking easy, but at the point it got difficult though. It got difficult. It's just the beginning. Now I'd like the members of the EU clan to stand. Congratulations. Thank and you, Mama. You all have displayed qualities of a true craftsman. Well done. Thank, Thank you, Mama. Ma. And to the Amo clan, I see your faces are downcast. You were in the losing place. You know what that means. One person will go home tonight. Now, we cannot evict all the members of the Amo clan, so we will definitely test you again in here, in the place of the talking drum. We'll test you to find the weakest link, and that person will be evicted tonight. Omoya? Yes, ma'am. Talk to me about your missing sandal. Omoya, I tell you. I wasn't the one who picked my bag. Someone picked it. So he was meant to give it to me, but when he gave it back to me, the sandal was missing. So there was little I could do. I just had to search around for it, but I, I, didn't, I didn't see it. So I can't hold him that. But I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's a plan or from the person who picked it, I don't know. But. Chidema? Ma? If you were in his position, what would you do? If I were in his position, I would ask questions. I would ask the person that picked the bag if the two pairs were complete when he picked it. Then from the answer he will give me, I will know what to do. If he said he didn't find it, I will lay my complaints. But whichever way, I will still complain about it. You all are here to think on your feet. Every single thing is a test. <coughs> and in my opinion, you failed woefully. You left your sandal behind. The forest watchers picked it up and kept your sandals for you. It was your doing and not the person who gave you your bag. Here you go. You're welcome. Now let that be a lesson to all of you. Observation and application is key to becoming a true craftsman or woman. Your taskmaster brought this to my knowledge. He's spoken to you all about this. And when I visited you in your homes, I did speak to you about this as well. The ability to listen before you move, to observe, because every single task is teaching you something. Have I made myself clear? Yes, yes ma'am. So let's talk about something light. Have you heard that the new Golda is now a craft spear? No, no ma'am. You haven't? No, no ma'am. I'll tell you. Now, the reason why it's now called a craft beer is because it's made from 100% premium barley. It also has the finest aromatic hops and it's processed through the purest of waters and brewed for an extra three days to make it the best of the best of beers. Now, why did I tell you all of that? Because that is why you're here. 
every single task is to grill you, to shape you, to refine you, to become the best of the best. Now the question is, are you worthy? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma I was scared for a second. And now to the business of the day. Are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am. This is what we call a lone sojourner. You are to use the pen in your hand. And if you notice, there was a notepad on your seat. Yes, ma'am. You are to write in exactly as you saw it, the images that I put up. And you have 10 seconds, by the way. Yes, Time off. Read it all out as you wrote them down. Banana, uh -huh. watermelon, uh -huh. apple, uh -huh. maize, pineapple, orange. Remain standing. Next. Banana, uh -huh. watermelon, apple, maize, pineapple, and orange. Next question. Banana, watermelon, apple, corn, pineapple, orange. The next question. Banana, watermelon, apple, corn, pineapple, and orange. Banana, watermelon, apple, corn, pineapple, orange. Banana, watermelon, apple, corn, pineapple, orange. Now, would you all file out in a singular line and let me have your papers? Moran. Agbonke. Agbonke. Now would Emmanuel, Eniola, Jennifer, Moran, and Agbonke sit? Inka. Six images, and you only wrote three. Why was that? My my pen hung at first, so I was lost. I knew I got images, but when I I, I would I wouldn't want to impute when you say stop. So I was. Every single bit counts. You may have had it in your brain, but you wrote down three instead of six, and because of the three, you need nine. You are hereby evicted from the Golda Ultimate Search. Your journey ends here. No, I tried my pace, that task. Just like that, one person has left us and it will continue. I will say this one last time. Listen, observe, 
apply. There you have it. Now there is no margin for errors and no room for sentiment. You can file back to your base. Good night. Good night, Good night Mom. Mom.